Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, I just wanted to give a quick reminder for you guys to please like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching me play Red Dead Redemption for the first time. Here he comes. Okay. That's looking pretty darn good. It's still showing I have a bounty that I gotta pay. All right, let's see. We got West Dickens. We got Stranger. California, that's uh, Sam. Irish is over here. I want to go see Sam. An armadillo. Oh, well, that's right. We have to deliver his letter. That's what we got to do. Yeah. All right, let me get up here and see if uh, maybe we can set up a camp again. Let's go take care of his letter. <coughs> Making some pretty good progress in the story this time. I do want to get as many of these missions done as I can. Come on. I don't know if I'll be able to deliver the letter since it's late. We'll try. It's gonna be closed, isn't it? <laughs> well, we'll just leave it on the counter. Okay, since we did Sam's, we can, let's see if we can pay our bounty. Thought we'd already paid everything, but we may have a little bit more to do. The telegraph office, let me see. Nobody here. Okay. So we got a stranger here. We got, oh, the funny man's back. We got a stranger and Irish. Is that it? Wes Dickens. Should we go see him over in Plainview? And we can't travel there too because we needed some, uh, Sage in Rio Bravo. Probably need to go to the store and get some more stuffs. That coon. Let's see if we can travel to Rio Bravo. Mm. 
Doesn't look like it. Mercer Station we can travel to. And the ranch too would be pretty close. Fort Mercer, we can do Fort Mercer, Mercer Station or the ranch. See if any of those are an option. Fort Mercer, Mercer Station, or Critchley's, Critchley's Ranch. Doesn't look like it. Travel to Waypoint. Does that take me directly to, to Mr. West Dickens? Sure did. Come back between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. What time is it? It's 5.40. Yeah. a little nap here, wake up and see Mr. West Dickens. Nigel, Nigel, Nigel. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together mm -hmm. we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I haven't touched the stuff. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. That's all you do. Fair enough. Oh, good sir. Come and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. <laughs> uh, hey guys. You're all standing kind of funny. Gentlemen, gather round, gather round. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, oh, This man is a 
charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot them. It's time we take our business elsewhere. Whoa. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody get that thing. Oh, brother. I think it's time we relocated our business, Get John. up. Get up. I lost your hat.
this is the last time I have to help you. You're going into a dead end? Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. For the last time. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Ratskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Uh. Why, he has another mission? Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! <laughs> How wonderful it's like nothing to see just, you, sir. Nothing How ever wonderful. happened. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we didn't just sir. five nearly, seconds ago. Nearly, sir. I just need nearly some cash you. to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John! We're gonna have it's another race. Come on! So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Yeah. Upwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Yep. Ah, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. Yeah. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightful and Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap to Breach, claimed you. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. Mm -hmm. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. Mm-hmm. Heard it before. Oh, good. The sun's coming out. There's Rathskeller Fork up ahead. Stop trying to run me off the road. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. 
No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck wrestling, <laughs> setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set, ready. Go! have no stamina. Horse in the middle of the street. Let's go. We got this. shot again, are you, Mr. West Dickens? Last time we won a race, they weren't happy about it. Closer. It's a long race. Uh, there it is. It's like I couldn't see the next uh, checkpoint. He came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> a little, what a little cash. What a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. My Have we got enough money victory. now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? Yeah. A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? You're not much better, John. You're a murderer and a thief. Bandit. Used to be, anyway. There's a stranger in this barn. All right, we're going to pause it here and take a look at this stranger mission in the next episode. You guys made it all the way to the end of the video. Thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate it. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. But either way, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.